Hi, I'm Darby McDevitt. I'm the lead writer of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. All these people and all these events, the, the sinking of the Spanish treasure fleet or the, uh, the British taking over Nassau and kicking all the pirates out, all these things are based in history and our story is built around that so that we can give players the feeling that they, they are living history again. They get to see it for themselves. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is the story of Edward Kenway, the grandfather of Connor Kenway from Assassin's Creed 3 and the father of Haytham. He's a young uh, Welshman, born in Britain, very poor, uh, and at some point in his life, in his late teens, he decided to go to the West Indies, or the Caribbean as we now call it, to uh, be a privateer. But one thing led to another and he fell into piracy and he met the characters like Blackbeard and Charles Vane and Calico Jack and Anne Bonny and he became a pirate who uh, runs into assassins and Templars. He gets involved in their little story and he gets trained by assassins but he kind of doesn't really like the, the creed very much. Uh, in Assassin's Creed 3 you introduce uh, the battleship. Yes. Battleships uh, fighting. How you improved that in a black flag. We made, we took those single missions, we expanded the world, and we made that entire uh, naval system free roam and systemic. So that means that at any point you can get onto your ship, you can leave a fishing village, sail out into the ocean, look for a ship, attack that ship, take it for your own, send it to your fleet, loot its goods, sell the cargo, and buy more stuff for your ship, all without any loading. Edward Kenway has a few things. He can buy weapons for himself, costumes and things like that. He has his boat, the Jackdaw. He can upgrade the boat. He can give it new sails, new hull, new weapons, better cannons. And then he has a hideout, where he a pirate den, where he can upgrade the buildings uh, and uh, you know just generally improve the hideout as well and spend money on that. And that's where he will keep a lot of his ships uh, and things like that. So we have these three levels. Edward, the Jackdaw, and his hideout. It's uh, based on two stories, like the previous status, yeah. or it is a new one, a fairy tale, maybe? No, it's not a fairy tale. Like uh, all the other Assassin's Creed's, we base it on history. Uh, as the lead writer, I did a lot of research uh, two years ago to begin this process, to find all the historical characters, to find the historical events, to find locations. So we picked our locations, we picked our characters, and we picked our events based on history. In the present day, you uh, play yourself. So now there's no more Desmond, there's no more character that you play. So instead of you playing Desmond playing uh, Connor, it's now you playing Edward. That's a huge step. That's a huge step. We removed one little piece. And the story is basically that you have come to Abstergo Entertainment to work as an employee. Now you don't know that Abstergo Entertainment is run by Templars, or maybe you do, and maybe that's why you like working there. But what we want to do is put you into an environment where you will be caught between Assassins and Templars, just like Edward is in, in the past. So you as a player will go and you will be researching Edward Kenway's memories for what you think is maybe a harmless product, like a, like a film or a virtual reality experience. But very, very quickly you learn that Abstergo is doing some uh, not so legal things and that you learn you meet the assassins too in the present day and you start to learn that there's this big war going on and, and it's up to you as a player to sort of decide who you like better I guess. So at the present there is a whole new story. It's a whole new story. Desmond is very much a memory in our story. There's a lot of uh, talk about Desmond. Uh, there's a lot of and there are familiar faces too. You know we don't abandon anything that has come before. The story continues on but it's from a different perspective it's now from your perspective seeing the Templar conflict assassin conflicts from a distance